Hi everybody, this is Black Rider Ranger, and here I am at Dragon Shores. Wait, I got a hundred thousand. I got ten thousand gems. Wait, he's he's frozen. Don't worry, I'll free you. I'll free you. Um, how do I get up there? I'll free you. <laughs> Thank you. And there's another one. I'll free you. I'll free you. Oh dang, why can I not free you? Anyways, oh look, it's a Nork. All right. By the way, if you win ten tokens, you can visit our theater. All right. Here's the first one. Welcome to the Dragon Shores coaster. Here at the shores, we don't just ride, though. If you can pop all the balloons on the track, a token is waiting for you. Rip. Yep. Watch out for the other coasters out there. It's a crowded track today. Oof. Okay, so there is no, um... Pop! 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 Seriously, who would leave their babies in, on their track? This is unsanitary. I ought to sue these people. Then again, these are Norks. I you figured they would do something like this. All right, I'll flip this switch, and now you can ride more tracks. See if you can pop the balloons on these tracks too. Yep. Watch out for the other coasters out. Yep, yeah, I get you. I get the memo. Pop. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's, let's just try this again. It's like almost like that scene from from the Breeze Harbor, the trouble with the trolley, eh? <laughs> and I heard that was a meme, the trouble with the trolley, eh? Thing. Yeah. Let's see what. Okay, nothing. Oh, finally. All right. Oof. All right. Aha! Here's the dragon spine! Oh wait, I'm talking, I'm thinking Skylander Superchargers, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's on a roller coaster ride. And that's it! Hey, not bad. Here's another token. There's one more run. You're on a roll. This time you'll need to use the cannon installed on your car to shoot down balloons as well. Are you gonna give it a try? Yep. Watch out for the other cup. Okay. Unfortunately, the things must not be, uh... Oh man, I missed it. And no, the, the babies, you cannot shoot them down. And even if you do, you'll be sued. And what kind of hero kills babies? <laughs> I mean, do you think it was kind of funny or kind of sadistic for Patrick Starr to nearly karate, a ba karate chop a baby in the Spongebob episode Karate Choppers? I'm still going that, an extra round on that one. <laughs> oh, dang it! Missed! Oh, I 
Yeah, all right. Sorry, I'm doing a bit of a, my Gilbrunt voice. <laughs> oh man, got to start all over again with the. Ah, oh, finally. And I have to go an extra roller coaster round for. No, did I? Was that? Was that it? Uh, never mind. All right. Boom. Is there no red balloon? Please, there's no red balloon. Just please, there's no red balloon. Okay, there's just one more. Yep, there's another one. All right. Wow, you're a natural. You've conquered the coaster. Here's my last token. All right. Want to ride the coaster? Just, you know, roller coasters aren't for everyone. Come on back again sometime. All right. Oh, look, it's the Tunnel of Love. Yeah. You pay no money down and make no monthly payments. In return, I'll give you one token. How That's does... I can give, but you can ride as many times as you'd like. How do you eat? How do you pay for your bills? How do you make sure you get your taxes done and not get your house ransacked by the government? Hop aboard, my friend! I guess Sparks is my lover. Let's see, there's a Yeti with the fawn, a Yeti, a fawn with, the, with those mystic guys, a fawn with the baby turtle, a fawn with a satyr. Oh, it's uh, those mystic guys with those rock creatures. Oh, pro Professor! <laughs> Am I in love with the Professor? Here's your one token. When you have ten tokens, try visiting the Dragon Shores Theater. All right. Okay, now, okay, before I can get into the movie theaters, I gotta... Hiya, Spiral! I hear you're a pretty good shot. How'd you like to try my shooting gallery? All right. Okay, I'll set the timer for you. Is there a last round? Ready for the next one? All right. Okay. Oh, those lizards! Sorry. Great. Here is my last token. All right. That's the last token. Okay, um, what else? What's the last one? Ah, here it is! Step right up, Spiral, and take a look at what we've got for you today. Inside this here booth, you'll find some of the most vicious creatures you've ever seen. Here's a baseball to spit, Sport. Take it. <laughs> A good thing! <laughs> hey, that was pretty funny, wasn't it? Take this token for being such a good shot. You know, I never made a carnival animation before. Do you think I should make one? 
Have another shot if you Here's another it's an it's an earth creature. Ooh, that's a muddy water for him. This is pretty easy, isn't it? Have another one of these tokens. Have another shot. Now why don't you make one that can move, like say give it expand the difficulty? There's that chef that tried to cook the turtles. <laughs> wow, you really are a great shot. Take this, it's my last token. And I have enough to go for the theater. Have another shot if you want. Yep, that's everything. And look, uh, see, if you have 10,000 things and 64 things, you get something special. I mean, wait until, let, let's see if I can open this first. Well, Spyro, it's your lucky day. You've managed to win enough tokens to enter the famous Dragon Shores Theater. Go on in. So this is what this is what happens when you enter the theater. You see, these are just um, these are just um, these are just um, theaters. These are just uh, clip shows from the previous day. Nothing really special. Oh. Not even the credits. So uh, that's kind. Of, you know, I was hoping that they would uh, it would include some bonus, some um, bonus um, miscellaneous, some brand new ones they make themselves. So what happens when you get ten thousand gems and all sixty four, um, uh, all sixty four uh, orbs? This you see that you see that flame symbol and it has this infinite thing, which means once you enter it, you are infinitely. You are infinitely able to s do this. I mean, watch, look what happens when I, um... I can assure you much, what I'm about to, sh what I'm about to show you is gonna be very easy. It it's gonna be a lot of fun to have these, uh, this upgrading moves. First, I need to, I need to, um... Um, head back to to the winter tundra. Let's head back to the summer forest. Now let's defeat Crunch Crush again. Now because this the, the super flame is very powerful, you're able to defeat enemies quickly and you're able to replay the levels again anytime you want. You're almost completely invincible. Unfortunately, there is no other power up that that's, that can last forever. You don't get immunity forever immunity, you don't get an ice breath infinitely, you don't get an infinity uh supercharge even. No, really, you don't. I mean, watch, watch what happens when I charge. See, normal speed. Oop! I accidentally hit Zoe. Uh, where, where am I going? I, I, oh, here I am. Let's go back to Crush's dungeon. I'll show you the pleasures of having this upgrade. Skipping, skip, skip, skip. <laughs> Crush. The, here's an odd thing about Sparrow and to the Dragonfly. Crush and Gulp, they talk. They never, they never explain how his, their ability to talk in this game. And what, look, this is what, look what happens. Oops. Oh man. Okay, okay, maybe not so... Unfortunately, you cannot hit them again.
<laughs> well, it's not as uh, okay. It's not as easy for. It's not super easy for for crush, but it'll, I'm. I'll trust me. It'll be a lot easier for gulp. Oh, you gotta run away from him before he charges you. It's a tag team race, and maybe you can get some sheeps. Take that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, catch me! <laughs> Unfortunately, you cannot blast him again because uh, once he's had his his hits, you gotta. Oh, here we go again. And here comes our last one! I, I have noticed he's got two toes, and yet he has and yes he has three. Um how long is this gonna take last? Oh. <laughs> oh, you have to, you have to, uh, never mind. Oh, sorry, I was wondering how long is he able to, <coughs> uh, how long was he was able to keep up with Sparrow? Oh, well, just like that, without hit, trying to hit him? I mean, is that for a long period of time? Was it the... What element do you think Crush would be in if he was a Skylander trappable villain in Earth? I imagine Gulp being tech and I imagine Ripto being magic. Okay, back to the Autumn place. Okay, gotta get to Gulp's place. And there is no shortcut, you have to go all the way. You do not know the way. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I know that's very outdated. I'm sorry. <laughs> here we go! Here, here we go! Gulp. Now this one is fairly easy. All you gotta do is just press the the circ the fire button in several times, and instantly you defeat him. I mean, surely if the rockets can work on gulp, surely. Watch this. See? See, it's too easy. Don't look kind of looks like Bowser. <laughs> See? See? You're able to defeat him. <laughs> <laughs> Instantly, instant defeat, instant defeat. It's kind of like uh, you're able to defeat Dingo Dial by with the double jump button, and it really helps with the spin attack. Instantly defeat in just a couple of seconds. In about less than a minute. And we come down to the last one, Ripto. Don't go to Dragon Shores, we're heading back to Ripto.
Okay, Ripto is next. Okay. The see, instant, instant. <laughs> even, even the metal beast is, even the metal beast is no. He's nearly pushed off the edge. <laughs> now the last one, uh, you're able to... This one is pretty much the normal version of this. Hey, look, listen to that opera music. Alright, and I got a skill point as well. Like I said, instant defeat. Splash. He's dead. Okay, that's it. Oh, and you get to play the credits again. I <laughs> didn't know that. I mean, you know, I've only Crush Bandicoot allowed the credits to be played after you defeat the enemy, the boss again. <laughs> And that's it. Once you complete 100% on uh, Spyro 2, you get to torch your enemies again much easier. <laughs> I actually do like um, Spyro Into the Dragonfly allowing Spyro to access different uh, um, elemental powers. That's it's picked up for it was later picked up for a hero's tale and uh, and the Legend of Sparrow series but they're just not used to its super full potential and it could have been a more interesting game if it weren't for the glitches and something like that and that's my gameplay for and that's it this is my last gameplay for the Spyro 2 game and perhaps the reignited trilogy as a whole I don't really have plans to play the and Spyro 3. I mean, I don't, I don't like it when I, when I kill the Rhinox. I mean, it's like killing off an endangered animal, well, just for the sake of gems or souls to get an upgrade. It's just not right for me. <laughs> um, I hope you've enjoyed this video.